Welcome to FT.com. I'm Islin Jorgensen, and today I'm joined by Kenneth Lee to discuss Apple's deal with Fox and ABC to offer TV rentals for 99 cents. Kenneth, welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. So let me start by asking you, what is the potential impact of these deals for the media market? Well, uh, with the media executives we're talking to, they're actually hoping that it would have minimal impact on their existing businesses. If this test is, and that that's how they currently see it, is successful, hopefully they'll generate some incremental revenues, uh, while at the same time consumers don't uh, end up cutting their cable or satellite or telephone bills. Mm -hmm. And on the technology front, what is this new device? Well, very little has been said uh, about this device, and Apple certainly has played coy, uh, giving out no details. But from some people who have been briefed on the plans, uh, they say that it will be a much smaller device than the existing Apple TV device, which is a kind of set-top box with a hard drive. What sets this new device apart from the old one is that it will also allow people to use uh, iOS applications, mm -hmm. uh, software that had been developed for the iPhone and the iPad. So imagine anything from Facebook to Twitter to video games um, made available on your television screen. Right. And you mentioned in your story that this is a partial coup for Apple after a battle to secure lower prices. So what's changed? Right. Over the years, Apple has tried to, uh, or tried to negotiate lower prices from television content owners uh, in hopes to really boost uh, the volume of sales on iTunes. Um, as early as this year, uh, they had tried and came close to negotiating lower prices for the purchase mm. of television shows, which currently cost about one ninety nine. So at the time, before the iPad was launched, uh, they had actually managed to secure, well not secure, but uh, managed to convince some television program owners to agree to a 99 cents price point to purchase television shows. But at the last minute, everyone pulled out. Okay, and lastly, if I could ask you, you know, where do we see, where do we expect to see pushback on these deals? Well, if you think about it, uh, one of the worst things that could happen to uh, the media industry is if this is a raging success, in which case you'll start seeing consumers um, begin to drop you know, pricier uh, cable or satellite uh, television packages that range anywhere from $40 to well over you know, $150. So if that happens, the, you know, fra the kind of lucrative but fragile economics of the television business could begin eroding. In other words, you'll start seeing people drop their uh, sub uh, TV subscription services. Mm. Okay, so thank you very much, Ken, for joining us. Well, for more on this story and many other top stories, please go to FT.com.